In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the bus stop method for division. The first thing we need to do is draw our bus stop. And the number that we're dividing goes inside the bus stop. The number that we um, are dividing it by, that goes outside the bus stop. Now, all we do is we look at our number and we go across and see how many times does this fit in to these numbers. Now, I know that three fits into four once, so I put my number one there. I have one left over, so I carry that one and I place that there. The reason we do this is so we can then go, how many threes go into this number that we've just created, which is 12? So that one that we carried goes there and it goes in front to make a new number, so 12. How many threes go into 12? If you know your three times table, it's three, six, nine, 12, it's four times. And finally then, how many threes go into nine? And again, we know that that is three. So our answer is 143. Okay, for my second example, uh, we're going to be doing a slightly trickier one. So again, we draw the bus stop. The number that we're dividing goes inside. And the number that we're dividing by goes outside. So again, this time we go across and we say, how many eights go into six? Well, this time the answer is zero because eight can't fit into six. So what we do in this case is we look again and we say, well, how many eights go into, and we look across this number here. So this is now our number, 64. How many eights go into 64? And if you know your eight times table, there are eight eights in 64. And finally we go, how many eights are in eight? Uh, that's one. So our answer is 81. Another example, we draw a bus stop method, 4, 8, 7, 8, and we're dividing by 9. So again, we follow the step. How many 9s go into 4? Well, they don't, so we'll move across. How many 9s go into 48? So if you use your times tables, it'll tell us that there are 5 9s that fit in, because 5 9s are 45. We can't fit any more in there, so we'll put 5 up there for now. Now what we do now is we look at the difference. So nine fives make 45, but we've got 48 spaces available. So we write the difference in here. We carry that over. The difference was three. There was 45 spaces, uh, but 48 altogether. So we squeeze that extra digit in there that we carry over. Now, how many nines go into 37? Um, again, that's we use our times tables. It will tell us that there's four nines that just fit in there because four nines are 36. And the number that we've got left is 1, 36 and 37, the difference is 1, carry that over. How many 9s go into 18? That's exactly 2, so the answer is 542. Okay, so we know how to use the bus stop method. But what do we do if we have remainders? So I'm going to show you how to do that now. So just like in the other examples, we need to draw our box. And we follow the same steps. How many fours go into two? Zero. How many fours go into 27? Six. Remainder three. How many fours go into 33? Eight. And we have one left over because four eights are 32. And we have 33 spaces. So it would be 68 remainder one. Now, if you want to leave your answer as a decimal, then we need to do something slightly different. So if we just get rid of the remainder one. Now, we, we did say we had one left over, so if we put our point here, point zero, 273 point zero is the same as 273. We carry that remainder over onto this number. We had one remainder, so that's going to go there. How many fours go into 10? The answer is two, remainder two. And we do the same thing again, we put another zero. How many fours go into 20? That answer is five and we haven't got anything left so that's our final answer 68.25 now they don't always end nicely like that sometimes they're recurring so we just stop when we feel like we've got to a reasonable answer okay looking at number two we'll try the same thing again 311 divided by three how many threes go into three one how many threes go into one they don't how many threes go into eleven three remainder two. So instead of just putting remainder two, we could have a look at doing it as a decimal. So we had two remainder, so the two goes there. How many threes go into 20? The answer is six. 
remainder 2, and we put another 0. How many 3s going to 20? Again, is 6. And we can keep going because we have 2 remainder. How many 3s going to 20? Again, is 6. Now, I can see this is going to be recurring, so I'm just going to leave it to 3 decimal places, 103.666, or 103 and 2 thirds. 1024 divided by 5. How many 5s going to 1? 0. How many 5s going to 10? 2. How many 5s going to 2? Again, it's 0. How many 5s going to 24? 4. Remainder 4. So we can leave our answer as a decimal again by putting a point. We had 4 remainder, so we'll carry that over. How many 5s going to 40? The answer is 8. So our answer is 204.8. Thanks for watching, I hope you found that helpful. Have a look at some of the questions that come with this video and have a go at practicing for yourself.